I am Dr. Kavita Shukla. I am the head of admissions here in Amity University, Dubai. And I welcome you all to this uh, uh, presentation by Dr. Gursirat Singh, who is uh, a faculty of forensic medicine here at Amity University, Dubai. And he is a MBBS and MD in medicine. And uh, he has a passion towards uh, forensic sciences. Uh, so um, at Amity University, we are offering both bachelor's and master's in forensic science. And uh, forensic sciences is becoming fast, becoming a, a very desired program. You know, uh, people have a lot of uh, uh, inquisitiveness about the details of the program. So uh, Dr. Gursira today will take us. Uh, he has a wonderful topic. Um, which is related to uh, Sherlock Holmes, who was, uh, who is supposed to be and uh, is uh, worldwide recognized as the father of forensic uh, sciences. And uh, he has a very, very um, interesting topic, uh, that of harnessing uh, Sherlock Holmes through uh, forensic sciences. So I welcome you to this uh, presentation, Dr. Gursira. And um, I uh, uh, request you to please take us through your presentation and at the end of the presentation, we will take some questions from the audience. So please do uh, write in your questions uh, uh, in the box. Even while the presentation is on, we'll keep a note of that. And I welcome Dr. Gursira to this um, webinar. And uh, uh, please take us through, uh, Dr. Gursira, please. Thank you, Dr. Kavita. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So my objective is to give you an overview of the forensic science as a subject, as a career, and how to choose the job which fits your interest after the completion of the course. And why Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes is one fictional character which is known to almost everybody. Right? And he is the one who ignited the spark of forensic science, right? So in today's world, we have Netflix and we have Amazon and we have movies which are related to forensic science in different ways. But he was the one which, who ignited the spark, right? When we talk about the history, history of forensic science, See, it dates back to fingerprints, to microscopy, to electron microscopes, to DNA, right? But why Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes was a fictional character, right? He was a fictional character from the novel by Sir Arthur Conan, right? And what he did was, he was above and beyond his time. He used techniques which were not yet invented in the real time, right? For example, he develops a chemical to determine whether a stain was blood or not, right? And it is uh, in that era when people were still struggling to know what blood is actually, right? But forensic science is a lot more than just the murders or the dead bodies. The modern Sherlock Holmes, they work in CBI, FBI, Interpol, and various other forensic labs, right? And you must be aware of some of these movies and series, right? I'm sure you must have seen some of these. So these are similar to the novels in which Sherlock Holmes was present back in the late 18th and the early 19th century. Today, nowadays, we have these movies, right? But these TV shows, they provide a very quick and glamorous side of the forensic science, right? But trust me when I say this, it is even far more interesting than you see it on the TV. Not the glamorous part, I would say, but yes, very, very interesting. And as I said, it is not just murder and dead bodies. Only very few scientists, they deal with dead bodies. But other and majority of them, and you will in the future, 
deal with fingerprints, footprint impressions, frauds, scams, credit card frauds, signature frauds, handwriting frauds, suicidal notes, anonymous letters, and so on. Right? And the trend is changing towards the new technology. And that is why we have cyber forensics and DNA profiling. Right? So what is cyber forensics? We'll come to that. But basically, uh, it is related to computer crimes, emails, hackings, fake videos, CDs, etc. Right? Tool marks, firearm, explosives, and so on. So you name a field, and forensic has its application in that. It is such a wide field, right? So if we try to define forensic science, it is not easy to define it. Why? Because it is an applied science. It is applied to almost all the branches of science, almost all the branches, right? Physics, chemistry, biology, toxicology, geology, mathematics, etc. And with the course of time, it has also developed some of its own specialized disciplines like fingerprints, question documents, explosives, ballistics, voice identification, forensic engineering, DNA profiling, and computer forensics. Right? So it is not related to just murders and dead body. And in its broadest definition, if we will try to define forensic science, it is the application of science to law. Okay, so in law, you see all kinds of cases are there. And the judiciary is not well versed with all the branches of science. But they have to give a judgment. Okay, there is this gap between the law and the crime where forensic science fits in. So they provide the facts and the solid evidences on which a proper judgment can be made. Right, so as I said, a link between crime and the criminal. And everything between the two is forensic science. If we try to differentiate forensic science broadly, right? as I said, it has very, very wide application. You name a field and it is applied. Every branch of banking, of accounting, of military, of police, they have a forensic way. But overall, the forensic science is divided into three parts. The field science, the laboratory science, and the court science. Now, field science is when you work on the field. And what do you find on the field? Crime scene. And crime scene doesn't mean only bodies, but any kind of crime. It can be an accounting crime. It can be a cyber crime. Right? It can be a audio video analysis and so on. The evidences that we gather from the field are then studied in the lab. This is the major area of application, the laboratory science. And this is where most of the forensic scientists, they work. So this field, laboratory science, it includes the examination of everything that has been collected as evidence, and also the authentication and validation of various letters or documents that go to court, right? So before the court, the laboratory comes into place. And court science is the final report writing. So how you will write the report? On that basis, the court will decide whether to uh, whether to give punishment to the accused or not, right? So this code science, what exactly is code science? So it is more like a storytelling, right? So forensic science, the report is more like a storytelling. 
and this story is non-fictional. It is based on facts and evidences, right? So how you present your report is very, very important. And that is code science. Now with the changing technology, we have talked about these three broad fields, right? But the world has changed from Sherlock Holmes till now. There are lots of new advancements coming up. And with that, the forensic science field is also changing, right? The forensic science education is changing to meet the need of an evolving disciplines comprising the very popular and critical field of forensic science. And this education is shifting from reactive to proactive. Now, what is reactive? So reactive is when you react to something. Let's say a crime has been committed and then you react to it. What will you do? Right? You'll try to find who committed the crime, how it was committed, and so on. But this approach is now changing to the proactiveness. So what is proactive? Proactive is that you are active to a level that you don't allow the crime to happen. Right? And what technologies have come into place? We have CCTVs, for example. We have body scanners at airports, right? And we have trace detectors for explosives, for narcotics, for drugs. All those things are proactive, right? The speed cameras you see on the road. What technology do they have? LPR, license plate recognition. All these things are a part of proactive forensics, right? And the world is changing from reactive to proactive. It doesn't mean that reactive is no longer required. It is very much required because crime is going up, right? But proactiveness has changed the way we teach, we give education, and how it is applied in the labs and so on. So the major areas that are taught in BSc forensic science are criminology, law, criminal behavior, forensic lab, crime scene investigation techniques, fingerprinting, impression evidences, blood, biological fluid analysis, cyber forensics, proactive forensics, audio video analysis, toxicology, post-mortem added significance, environmental forensics, question documents, right, anthropology, and forensic psychology. So these are just the few I have listed here. So basically you can apply it to any field. You name it and you can apply it. Everywhere forensic is applicable. And that is why it is a very emerging branch and a branch in demand, right? Wider the application, wider are the job opportunities, right? Wider is the scope for more research and more study, right? So you can see in this list that all the branches or subfields are different from each other. They are connected but they are very much different, okay? So forensic science is taught in BSc from a point that the student touches everything that is related to forensic. So if we have a three year program and six semesters, in six semesters, almost all the areas will be touched, right? Even if there are super specialized courses like DNA, still they will be taught, right? And of course, in masters, you have a more refined and more elaborative aspects of the same that you are taught in BSc, okay? So 
what is the importance of studying so many areas you see as i am stressing on this point that it has wide applications so it basically depends upon your interest after you have completed the course in which direction you want to go you have interest in computers you can go into computer forensics right you have interest in lab work you can go towards labs you have interest in fingerprinting question documents you have interest in firearms ballistics you name it okay so the, these are the major areas that are taught in the forensic science now the question is why be a forensic scientist right so apart from a good salary right it gives you the joy the happiness of solving mysteries and crimes and then building a successful and rewarding career why rewarding rewarding not just uh, on the basis of salary but also you are highlighted just like movie stars right you know on tvs on news the investigators or the detectives are usually highlighted the ones who solved the crime right so in that way it is a very rewarding career it gives you the happiness when you provide justice after solving the crime that gives you a moment of joy okay so this is a very rewarding and successful career now when we talk about career you see there are different areas depending upon the major branches that are taught inside the bachelor's program you can go into any of these right most of you are just aware about the police work or the detective work but apart from that we have non government labs we have government labs we have research and developmental laboratories we have intelligence agencies we have detective agencies we have question document examination labs aviation railways and customs right for the screening of bodies as well as the luggage body scanners trace detectors right so on or narcotics for drugs for explosives academic institutions right for further research or teaching banking finance and insurance fraud right so all those accountings forensic banking those things forensic science labs of course everything all the evidences they go to forensic science labs that are collected from the crime scene drugs and narcotic departments right so the career in forensic science is endless it is just based upon your interest and the term forensic scientist it doesn't describe a single job title right it is a host of forensic specialties that apply expertise to legal questions okay because what forensic science teaches us it doesn't provide us with answers no it helps us frame questions to which we have to answer why how right what so those questions when you see a red spot on a table the first question should be whether it is blood or not right so that you don't waste your time on the further examination okay so the career in forensic is endless it is just on your interest how you want to go about it what field you want to choose and so on the common forensic science job profiles if i talk about the profiles of the people who are working in the field of forensic we have fingerprint analysis 
right? So you see, I have a small gap between all the fields or all the job profiles that I have mentioned. The above job profiles, they don't require any further specialization. You can work on these job profiles with on-job training directly on the basis of a bachelor's degree, right? So we have fingerprint analysis, we have forensic science technicians, right, who work at crime scene investigations, and they're responsible for gathering and analyzing the evidence, right? We have forensic investigators, arson investigators, so they are crime scene investigators who will go and collect the evidence without disturbing the scene of crime, right? Arson investigators are who investigate why or how the fire happened, right? We have uh, buildings which catch fire, right? So their arson investigators come into picture. Crime scene photographer. Photography is also a very important subfield of forensic science. How to collect the photographs, how to take proper photographs of the evidence so that they are admissible in the court, right? Toxicologists, so anything related to poisons, drugs, they are the ones who handle it. Forensic ballistic experts related to firearms, document examiners, whether a document is forged or not, whether a check was signed or not, whether the same person signed it or not, right? Handwriting experts and so on. All these things come under the purview of document examiners. And we have forensic DNA analysts, right? So a minimum of bachelor's degree in forensic science is typically required for these positions. And these are one of the very common forensic science jobs that are present around the world. Apart from these, we also have digital forensic experts forensic computer investigators, forensic accountants, forensic engineers, and forensic psychologists. So these branches, they require a master's degree or a specialization of some form. To work in these job profiles, you need a specialization. So this is one of the reasons why most of the students they go for higher studies after doing bachelor's in forensic science. Also, they want to focus on a single field, right, depending upon their interest, right? And also to lead into the new era of investigation, that is the cyber crimes. So you need to have knowledge of the computers, the digital stuff, right, for accounting, and engineering to work as forensic engineers, right? So what is a forensic engineer? It is basically if some machine or let's say a bridge collapse, a building collapse, they come into picture. Why the building collapsed? Was any raw material used which was not appropriate or the technique was not right? So forensic engineers, they come into picture. Forensic psychologist is also a very and demand branch a career so forensic psychologists are different from forensic psychiatrist you see forensic psychiatrist is a medical field you need to have a degree a medical degree in, in order to practice forensic psychiatry but for forensic psychology you need to have a degree in forensic science a bachelor's degree in forensic science and then, of course, a specialization in psychology. So it is basically profiling the criminal, why they do the stuff that they do, right? So it is like reading their minds. So forensic psychology is that branch, okay? So these I have mentioned are the ones which are most common jobs of forensic science. But apart from that, these listed here, we have an endless list. 
for higher studies you see we have universities in the uk us india and elsewhere which offer the degrees or the specializations you are interested in some of them are dedicated universities of a particular field let's say dna and other they offer forensic science department who offer specialization in a particular field right so we have universities in uk us india and elsewhere also but these are the common universities that student would like to go to now little bit about forensic at mit so i told you about bachelors that we have a bachelors in which in six semesters we basically touch everything we have msc again masters and also we have phd for the same apart from these we also have some value added modules right so french arabic scientific writing independent research skills communication skills now you will ask me what are these and how are they related to forensic so these value added stuff is to give value to your resume to your cv when you go to an interview right so this is a value added to the forensic course this is the picture of our labs so we have people from dubai police and elsewhere who come and take exams and also mimic a crime scene we have analytical tools in our labs for almost all the testing you name it whether it is poisons whether it is gaseous material whether it is alcohol right whether it is fingerprinting question documents we have comparison microscopes so everything is available apart from these lab facilities we also have summer internship and dissertations so in these the students they attend workshops and they do their research and conference presentations and publications so workshops are organized by police officials inside the campus and also our students they go to police stations and forensic science labs for further clarity on the subject and on hand experience of how things are done on the field right so shooting range training we also get educational tools for our students malaysian police italy police right and so on we have collaborations with russell khaima police dubai police anti narcotic departments so these collaborations help us in a way that our students get to know the on field work that is being done in this country and elsewhere and also they come to campus and deliver lectures on the latest techniques that have been introduced into the police departments for various work our alumni they are working in uae police as forensic advisors lab analysts psychologists cyber experts education sectors they are also working as freelancers and most of them are in higher education in uk europe canada and india so higher education our students presently are studying this is just a few of them that i have listed in my slide so university of central lancashire west of england tsid university greenwich bangor right and you name it so these universities are where our alumni are presently studying and these are the ones who are working in the dubai police and these apart from dubai police elsewhere in nigerian police in law firms in tanzania in france in security concepts toronto home security jf medical abu dhabi noor islam college uae military forces right various governments of various countries government of pakistan alain police scientific sport interns and durham police forensic experts specialists 
application specialist, genomics and Abu Dhabi government, Rock hospitals, right? And 10 intelligence, Dubai. So why Rock hospitals? I mentioned because uh, a few of our students are also working in the labs. So you see in the lab work, it is basically the samples that you analyze, whether the sample is from a crime scene or from a patient, right? So you can work on them in either way. So let's have some questions. Thank you so much for this uh, wonderful presentation, uh, Dr. Kursira. And I would to please uh, switch on your camera. Uh, at the top, uh, there is a small icon. Yeah. So uh, now we are open to questions on uh, careers in forensic sciences or any other detail that you wish to ask about the course outline or the course content here at Amity University Dubai or anything related to uh, forensic science. We did get a few questions uh, while your presentation was on, uh, Dr. Yes. Gursira. So uh, one student uh, was asking, Amna Gul. Amna Gul was asking, MBBS isn't important in forensic sciences, yeah? So uh, I don't think uh, that is a fundamental degree required, but uh, you can always build your career from MBBS also in forensics as Dr. Gursirath has done. Uh, he's our professor for forensics me forensic medicine. And uh, otherwise you can go for a bachelor's in forensic sciences, which is, uh, uh, which is what is the easier pathway to uh, making a career in forensic sciences. Yeah, Dr. Gursirath, any co comments on that? Yes, yes. So it, it is basically based on your interest. So my interest was in the field of forensic. So after doing my MBBS, I did my MD in forensic medicine. You can also do a master's or bachelor's in forensic science additional to your MBBS degree. And you can also do medical diplomas after your bachelor's in forensic science. We have a field which is also emerging these days called forensic nursing, right? So that is related to the medical field. And that you need to have a bachelor's degree in forensic science apart from a nursing degree. So it is basically depending upon your interest, how you mold two or more degrees into your career. Okay, so um, any more questions? Uh, there were a few comments here. Uh, Sara Alkaz, she said that I would, uh, I'd like to highly recommend Japanese show Unnatural, as uh, that is, uh, you know, Peter interest in forensic sciences. So that was a comment. Uh, Sara is, I think, uh, offline now. And uh, others were about the application process in Amity University. Okay, fine. Now we have a question from Blessy Matthew. Uh, uh, what is the difference between a forensic psychologist and a criminal psychologist? Dr. Gursirath, beyond my... So, my... so these, these two fields are basically overlapping. So we have certain names which are different in different countries, but their job profile is almost the same, right? For example, we have forensic technicians, or we have forensic lab technicians, right? So the name differs in different regions, but the job profile is almost the same. So criminal psychology and forensic psychology, the only difference is in criminal psychology, you are just focused on the profile of the criminal. Whereas in forensic psychology, you also deal with the psychology of all other people involved alongside the criminal, right? They are overlapping, but the job profile is almost the same. Okay, so I hope uh, that answers. Okay, Blessy is saying, all right, thank you, sir. So thank you so much uh, for replying to uh, that question, Dr. Gursira. Uh, uh, Asma Waris is asking that, what should we choose to study for forensic psychologist? Forensic psychology. Yeah. 
So I see yeah, people have interest in forensic psychology. Yes. So for that, psychology, you need yeah. to have a bachelor's degree in forensic science, which is a prerequisite. And then you can do your master's in psychology. Okay. So I hope Asma that answers your question. Yes. Okay. Now Amna Gul is asking that what is the pathway to a forensic scientist? Like all degrees, what all qualifications do we need to uh, do after finishing high school? So uh, uh, preliminarily, I can answer that question that you should have to become a forensic scientist. You should have a bachelor's and master's in in uh, psych, uh, forensic sciences and also then to become a scientist you should choose some specialization where you can uh, which you can pick up in your phd so phd is mandatory for uh, forensic scientists uh, dr gursirat you have anything to add to this yes ma'am see uh, again yeah. the terminology differs in different regions so uh, phd of course to be a scientist phd is required but there are job titles by the name of forensic scientist which are equivalent to forensic lab technicians or forensic lab uh, expertise or crime scene investigators they are also given the title of forensic scientist so for that you don't need to do any further study you can become a forensic scientist depending upon the region where you are only on the basis of your uh, bachelor's degree but yes, to do a proper scientific work, to do a proper research, you need a PhD. Okay, so I hope Abna, we answered your question. Now, Asma Waris is asking that what are the subject requirements in high school for forensic psychology? Is biology compulsory in this field? Yes, it is compulsory. Yeah. So as far as eligibility goes, asthma, uh, biology, and chemistry also uh, is uh, quite a required uh, yes. subject for, for they, they go yeah? hand, hand with biology. Yeah. So all three of them. So all three: physics, chemistry, mathematics. Uh, physics, chemistry, and biology uh, are yes. mandatory or uh, taking admission in forensic sciences. So I hope um, that answers your question. Neha Reddy is saying that top colleges in India for forensic science. Uh, I don't know Neha uh, that uh, we are Amity University and we are a 100% branch campus of uh, Amity University of Uttar Pradesh. So definitely I know that in Amity University uh, in uh, Noida, we are running this program, Forensic Sciences, both bachelor's, master's and PhD. So uh, that is uh, one answer that I can give. Uh, rest, you can, uh, you know, do your own research because uh, I don't think I'll be able to comment on that. So, uh, but uh, definitely our home campus, Amity University of Uttar Pradesh, uh, has uh, all, almost all branches of Amity University, wherever they are in India, are running this program, BSc Forensic Science, Bachelor's and Master's both. Okay, any further questions? Uh, uh, we are still waiting for the questions. Um, Amna Gul says that thank you for the answer. So uh, I hope, uh, Amna, we, uh, we were able to answer your questions. And uh, we are still waiting for any questions. It was quite an engaging uh, presentation. So. I hope I'm sure you must be having a lot of uh, queries uh, regarding this uh, uh, program now uh, I, I, while I'm waiting for uh, for uh, okay so Amna is asking again that how long does the study of forensic sciences takes including bachelors and masters so uh, forensic sciences uh, bachelors is a three-year degree program and masters is two -year program so it is in total uh, uh, five years programs uh, bachelor's plus masters so that is um, one thing Akhil Hafiz Muhammad is asking that could you let me know the fee structure 
the fees for uh, forensic science bachelors is 45000 dirhams per annum and uh, currently our scholarships are still open so you can uh, reach out to any of our counselors you can visit us on open days we are having an open day today also till 8 o'clock so you can visit us you can meet dr gursirat in person and you can ask or uh, whatever other queries that you may have and um, uh, so uh, th that is uh, something and we are open on all uh, working days and also on saturday from 9 to 5 now uh, shri lakshmi shubhash is asking that what is the syllabus at amity for bsc forensic science so dr gursirat this is for you yes. so uh, as ma'am said we have a three year program right so six semesters so what we do in the six semesters is we start from the basics in the first and second semester and then we move on to more specialized fields in the last semester okay so what do we mean by the basic uh, subjects in the forensic science that includes the chemistry the blood analysis forensic botany right so starting with fingerprints and then we move on fingerprints for the next semester also and then in the middle semesters we focus more on the life sciences so by life sciences i mean study of the teeth study of the bone which involves forensic anthropology forensic odontology of course forensic medicine so from that we shift to the use of microscopy the use of various tools and various techniques that are present in our lab and are being used presently in the field right so we shift from basic to more specialized form and all the proactive and the latest techniques that are being used audio video analysis body scanners so all these things we move from fourth and fifth semester to sixth semester right so if you want a complete list so it will be uh, including criminology psychology so as i said we basically touch everything so there are around uh, 25 odd fields inside the bachelor's course that you will be taught okay so i hope that answers your uh, question sri lakshmi now amna has a uh, googly question it is a it's a very at uh, one of the toughest questions and also one of the most interesting ones so amna is asking that what is the most interesting thing about forensics at amit university so dr gursira uh, please let amna know that what is the most interesting thing about forensics in amit in amit okay so forensic overall is very interesting when you read it you will fall in love with it right so when you will get to know how to examine the blood how to examine the hair how to examine a fingerprint how to examine a question document so all these things we do at amit right apart from this the collaborations that i mentioned right so you will have a hands on on firing the firearms right going to shooting range right doing the actual police work with them as a part of summer internships so all those things are happening in amit because of the collaborations we have outside in the field with the bipolis with the narcotics departments right so when they come to campus to teach you and when you go to a police station or a forensic lab you will get to know how things are happening in the real world right and i don't think so anybody else has that collaboration for that matter we are the only one who have that collaboration yeah i think uh, that was the most the, interesting aspect and thank you yeah. uh, anna for asking this question so that we were able to highlight our extraordinary partnerships that we have built over the last uh, uh, so many years that we have been in uh, dubai operating here in dubai uh, we also have uh, a very good partnership with the scotland yard uh, Uh, police uh, in Scotland Yard. So uh, uh, quite a few times, our students have gone for short internships and visits to Scotland Yard. Uh, 
so they have been to edinburgh so uh, that is uh, one of the highlights uh, sorry dr gusiyat you were saying something no ma'am i was just saying that apart from these the practical work that we do it is not just a theory based curriculum we have two practical classes per semester for every semester right so in these practical classes almost all the students will try to do things that are happening outside in the field right it is not just that only few students will be able to do the uh, techniques and they will be able to examine the tools no we have made the curriculum in such a way that in groups of four or five students every day or every alternate day they get to know things and they will have practical classes yeah so uh, that is uh, i hope we answered your question amna and uh, there are a lot of uh, uh interesting the things that once you join amity it will keep coming to you uh, now amna is uh, still asking that do you transfer students from one campus to another for enriching experiences now amna uh, uh, we don't have at uh, at the moment uh, we don't have training programs with other universities but we have tie ups with these organizations where our students they go and stay and work for example uh, just now i gave that uh, scotland yard we have uh, the collaboration so students go there for one week 10 days and do a short type of internship or training and then they come back we also have a similar uh, uh, tie up with the italian police so uh, our students they go to milan and you know they they uh, take part in some small training programs and then they come back so these are the um, these are the uh um, the course enriching uh, you know hands on learning experiences that we provide to our students but as of now because uh, see forensic sciences we are one of the only universities which is offering this um, forensic science uh, course here in this region and uh, it's a very specialized uh, uh, program and it's a very specialized subject not every university offers this so uh, we do get uh, students from other universities to who come and stay with us but as of now we do not have a course mapping with um, other universities in say europe or us where uh, we can you know have uh, transfer credits uh, to from our students um, from those universities so that is something that we are still working on and uh, because of the depth of our course curriculum it becomes a little difficult to do the course mapping and that is why uh, probably we have not reached that level and uh, but otherwise uh, uh, your course has a lot of practical aspects and a lot of exchange programs and visits international visits okay so amna is asking are these in internships and all included with the degree or students have to pay separately now uh, you Uh, the internship is uh, free of cost uh, there is because of our collaboration uh, uh, there is no charge for the student but you have to pay for your travel and stay expenses so that is uh, uh, what you have to pay so uh, i hope we have answered that now uh, we are uh, coming quite close to the end of our webinar and uh, let me tell you that uh, yeah amna says thank you thank you amna for asking those wonderful questions uh, which came uh, which brought in a lot of a lot more additional information into our webinar and um, uh, uh, one thing which i would like to tell all participants that uh, uh, the admissions to amity university are currently open and we are having open days almost every friday today we have till 8 o'clock so if anyone wants to visit you can come and visit us and um, other than that uh, uh, i will leave the admissions email id in the uh, in your chat box and uh, so that you people can write back to us uh, and um, you can ask us any further questions that you may have i will uh, also leave dr gursirat's email id so should you wish to um, you know reach out to him for any other queries that is subject specific yeah so i have left my email id admissions at amityuniversity.ae so admissions are currently open and you should come and reserve your seat uh, because there are 
limited seats in scientific programs and uh, so you should uh, come and fill up the forms and submit your transcripts and uh, even if it is predicted grades please do come with the predicted grades and we will offer you the conditional uh, offer letter we will issue you the conditional offer letter and anything else dr gursirat if you wish to add as a last few comments yes, I want to uh, tell something to amna so yeah uh, there is one more thing about forensic anatomy the profile of our faculty you see i am a forensic medicine expert right we have a dna expert we have a fingerprint expert ms sharan ms ravi and we have a toxicologist who is a program leader dr nishan so we have a diversity within the faculty also who teach and we also have specialized people from field who join time to time as adjunct faculty and they also teach the subjects that are related to their field okay so we are very diverse and we give proper education based on the respective field domain of the faculty right so my subjects will be life sciences related to blood and human beings bones and teeth and rest of them will be taught by the other faculty and this is the reason we have students from the vai police charja police and ajman police who are working in the police department and are studying in our evening classes for the masters okay so uh, that was the important uh, information i have left the email ids admissions@amityuniversity.ae and dr gursirat's uh, email id uh, so that you can reach out to him with any subject specific uh, queries that you may have and uh, other than that one very unique aspect of amity university is its diversity uh in nationalities so we have over 65 different nationalities who study with us and uh, any student who joins amity university has a truly international experience cross cultural experience so uh, you get to interact with uh, different cultures so uh, that is uniqueness about amity university and it is also about the co curricular activities that we have on the campus so uh, co curricular as well as sporting activities that we have so uh, it is a, a complete uh, self developmental life that you choose uh, when you come to amity universities i would uh, request all of you who have not submitted your documents to please send it to admissions@amityuniversity.ae so that we can uh, upload your application generate the conditional offer letter and reserve your seat and please do come and visit our uh, beautiful campus here in um the uh, way international academic city it is a 7 lakh square feet campus you can see the videos on our website that is www.amityuniversity.ae and uh, you can see the facilities and the videos of the labs we have state of the art labs where um, a lot of research work takes place and i'm sure you will enjoy your time here at amity university dubai and uh, that is uh, if we don't have any more questions then i think we will uh, bring the uh, webinar to an end thank you so much dr gursirat for okay so amna is asking do you have dorms at amity yes we have uh, dorms at amity it is within the campus and it's just behind the, the football field that we have so uh, you can uh, take a uh, take a look at the Uh, website uh, the uh, dom uh, video is there so you should go to the section of um, uh, student residences and you can you will be able to see the uh, video now uh, shri lakshmi subhash is asking can the final year be done at amity done at any other branch of amity university yes uh, that is possible seamless transition to any of our campuses in india where they are teaching this program is possible uh, shri lakshmi so um, within the amity group the transfers are possible so uh, don't fear that in case you have to relocate in between to india uh, you will not have a break in your degree program yeah that is the advantage of uh, staying with amity because we have 14 universities in india so we are present in almost all major big states 
in India. Yeah. So uh, that is uh, wonderful. I hope Sri Lakshmi, we answered your question. She's saying thank you very much, ma'am. So thank you so much, Sri Lakshmi, for asking those questions. And we'll be available to answer any further questions that you may have. So uh, I would uh, once again thank uh, Dr. Ursira to, for taking out his uh, you know, valuable time to be with us. And uh, thank you all participants for being with us. I'm sure it was a learning experience for you. Please do reach out to us for any further queries and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye from us here in Amity University.